I think there's sometimes a sort of idyllic pastoral existence idea of what farming or ranching was. Understanding now the uh, technology, the science, the commitment, the hard work that goes behind it just opened my eyes in a way that I, I was not curious about before and now can't get enough of. I think you have to have a, you have to have a firm that somebody does want in the future and trying to adopt new technologies and adopt different ways of doing things and you can't always do it the same way your grandfather did and your father did it and being open to trying new things and Dad has been really good with that. We've done a lot of different things. In 2018 we would made the decision to, to upgrade our barns that had originally started in 1901 and we built on in 1975 and 1978 and 1987 we had additions to it all and uh, they were getting pretty well used up so we decided to go with the weed cover and bring the cattle all under one roof and it's it's been a delight to work in that barn um, and hopefully for the next generations to come they'll also enjoy working in there. The new weed cover structure is um, it's very light, it's natural light comes through the top. It's cool in the summer and it's it's fresh in the winter and it, the cattle seem very comfortable in there. There's not the shadows that you get in a, in a tin covered barn. We built that barn to be really basically energy free. Like our water bowls are all heated by geothermal and we used LED lights down the center. Like it only takes about nine amps to light the whole barn. In 2018, Atlantic Beef Products, we joined a group where we uh, got in, introduced with a, a consultant on working on green and lean initiatives. So how can we be more friendly for the environment and also more efficient from a plant and manufacturing purposes? And that's been key in, in several decision-making processes as far as on the line itself. Uh, we've changed it, all the lighting in the plant to be LED now uh, to get, again, more efficient, but also to be better as far as the environment is concerned. Lowering our energy consumption in the plant has been a key thing. We start tracking our water usage now to try and lower our, our hot water usage. Everything right down to boiler selections, trying to go to the newer boilers that are more energy efficient, uh, things like that that make sense not just from an economics point of view, but very much so from an environment and greenhouse gas point of view. The biggest thing for us as far as efficiency goes is, is certainly uh, the amount of work we do to balance our rations. And, um, and thinking about what we feed and when we feed and why we feed. And we test everything that gets fed. Using computer software, we create rations for different ages of cattle and, and different stages of pregnancy of those cattle. It takes a lot of figuring and consulting to get those right. And making sure that the rumen and the bugs that are in the rumen have what they need to be as efficient as possible in breaking down that feed. And we put a lot of our time and resources into improving our genetics and trying to get more efficient with the cattle that we had. With improvement of genetics and research and new technologies, beef producers will basically be able to produce more beef using the same, if not fewer, resources than we were 50 years ago.